stop the madness or let's manage the madness. Welcome to my ink layer. As you see, it's hidden under the desk because it's quite massive for one person. I wanted to address today what I plan on doing with excess ink. Besides writing, or if you're an illustrator, uh, some of us may have a hard time going through and using the product because no one just wants it to sit on a shelf or in a tube. Um, got inspired by pretty much this. Pretty much my ink cleaning cloth. Don't know if that's showing up good there. Let me just change around the light. Bring it a little closer to you. Reminds me of tie-dye or an ink blot or splotch. Of course, it's more kind of pastel-y, but I thought it looked cool. And, of course, Twisby sells t-shirts so you know what's on. But before you get carried away and say, hey, Chi, what happened to that pen? It's still in the works. Let me just show you exhibit one. Um, I typically like to test all of my ink pen colors on a spare Twisby cap. This is a past blue that of course I didn't use because as you see, it was very streaky. Um, it's just nail polish. I'm gonna take it off, but I was too lazy. And since I had a white spot, I wanted to test three colors. Um, you know what? Let's go to the lab and cut scene to the lab. Um, I did not forget about the Twisby Lilac that I'm doing. I was still currently working on colors that I wanted. Uh, das Orange and Stuff did recommend um, some type of gold, which I do like the idea. Which um, I was starting off with this Golden Shimmer, which I want to bring closer so you can see. It doesn't quite cover the lilac, but it does put kind of a golden haze, which I do like. This is about, I think, two coats. Just because it was a test, I'd probably maybe only do one coat. Um, I do like it. However, when you look at it next to the chrome, because, you know, lilac comes with the chrome accents, I think that's a little bit off with it being golden and then chrome accents. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about getting like a, um, a rose gold um, black and then painting the black with this gold and I think would be nice over it. The color, I think think I'm going to go with is the Rockstar Pink. Uh, this one right here, um, as you can see, it does have silver accents in it, which goes well with the chrome. Um, at the bottom, this is about one coat, and then when you get to the middle, it's either two or three. I don't remember, but just so you know, if you do use this, it is going to texture your eco but you'll still get the gloss shine with it but you know depending on how heavy you want to go i think i'm only going to want to do one to two coats because i still want the lilac to come through versus being kind of completely covered like it is in the middle or maybe i'll completely cover it maybe i'll leave some spots showing who knows like a geode that'd be nice um, the last color I tried was Small But Mighty. Um, at the bottom, once again, the kind of where my thumbnail is, this is one coat, and then everything above it is about two to three coats, just so you can kind of get the difference of what one coat would look like. Um, once again, I do like the goldenness of it. However, I don't like that against the chrome accents. I think if this whole pen kind of had that goldenness with the chrome clips, I would not like it. Uh, therefore, I think with the lilac, I'm going to go with the Rockstar Pink, just because it's staying in the same accent family. But once I finish that project, you know I will show y'all. And I may have two of them because I think I want to get a rose gold black and do one of these golds. 
I think I almost like this gold a little bit better than the shimmer because this one still kind of leaves some of the color you can see in the background. But anyways, let's get back to topic. All right, welcome back to topic and back to the layer. Um, so as you see, as far as the three colors that I'm testing, when I do a cap, I do one, two, three layers. So you can kind of see each color has a gradient. And then when I'm done, simple few pumps of 100% acetone, nail polish remover, a couple of, uh, you know, generous swipes. And as you can see, even this past blue that I was kind of lazy about taking off removes with 100% acetone. But that is a cleaning project for later. Right now, back to topic. Always seal your 100% acetone, courtesy of K. Roger. I paid for it, not courtesy. They didn't fund this video. It's going to get a little loud. So, for the new year, I thought it would be nice to start off with something a little bit different than just a pen video. I thought I would use my samples to tie-dye a shirt. The Twisby shirt, pretty much Twisby logo. On the back it says Twisby in blue. Not in love with it, not in hate with it, but I did get a size large just in case, but it looks like it's men's cut, so I probably should have got a medium, but pretty much blank, and then it does have this little sleeve detail, which I'll try to avoid um, inking up this, but I don't know. I think I might actually just kind of go old school tie-dye situation where, you know, just uh, grab an area, kind of get it twisted a little bit. Whew. Okay, we have decided to do a funky type log situation with the rubber bands. Um, don't know if this is going to make for an interesting tie-dye, fountain tie-dye. Uh, remember this part, I'm not going to use color on. Um, because I want to keep this white. These are the inks I've selected. I hope that is enough. Um, I pretty much wanted to stick with blue. If not, I do have some backup purples. Uh, so pretty much I have all the samples of blue. I'm just going to open them up one by one and pour it on just so you can see what I'm going to do. And as you see, this is why I have this pink yoga mat to catch the drippings. But pretty much uncap my sample and just let it rip. Now I did uh, <laughs> uh, use a mister to kind of pre-moisten the shirt just because I wanted to make sure that it would um, absorb the blue. Oh yeah, this is, uh, you know what, this is going to be super messy. Definitely. I am definitely not finished. I put another bottle of ink and this is getting so messy already. I am going to slow down and take my time. So y'all will have to see the results of this t-shirt on the next video. Because since I'm doing this on the fly and it's been decades since I've last tie-dyed, and this is not even really tie-dyeing, it's a different experience. Uh, this cotton is super thick. I did kind of mist it before we started just to make sure it would accept the, you know, water-based fountain pen ink. Um, however, as you see, um, it kind of drips on and rolls to different places versus just absorbing through the fabric. So I'm going to take my time on that as well. Um, I don't want you to worry about these samples. There was one other thing I wanted to show you. They have already been, um, if there's a full bottle of them, I do have a color ring that, you know, I keep track of uh, my inks as well as I do pages um, of my samples. So it's already been cataloged. These samples that I'm using have already been cataloged so 
just so you're not worried that I haven't explored with these inks yet and I'm just wasting. I'm pretty much just using samples that I've already made sheets on, that I've already tried out, and that possibly I haven't bought a full bottle of um, because I found a color that I liked better. But definitely we'll see you on the next uh, video, maybe in a week or two, uh, hopefully sooner because I do want to show the results of this t-shirt as well as we'll get back to that lilac pin. Um, but until then, be easy. All right, well, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I know at the beginning I said stop the madness. This is literally pure madness. When you pour the ink on, you see how it beads up? Uh oh okay keep going but you know this is part of the fun you know no one got a fountain pen because they were neat and tidy and you know what I know what you're thinking because I'm thinking the same thing you know it's a lot of ink being wasted no absolutely not we will not waste a single drop of ink. See? No waste here. Going to work tomorrow. Don't know how that's going to be. But, going to have an epic shirt. Definitely. Definitely. I'm going to get in these nooks and crannies. I don't know if this rubber banding was really necessary. However, it is going to make sure that the ink pattern, you see that? Dedication. It's going to make sure that ink pattern definitely is very unique. And that way we get a range of blues, you know, and not just one blue blob in an area. So they're going to actually, you see that? Going in there, that was layers. Infiltrating. Not wasting. Not wanting. I know it's weird, maybe to some, but this is a thing of beauty. When you can see the sheen in the cracks of your skin and in your cuticles. Yeah, definitely we'll be doing this again. This hand, spared. Not much trauma. But, you know, dipped a little bit of fingertips in there. But this hand, my left hand, my power hand, Gorge. Bye.